This position was formerly known as defensive end, but in the era of the high-octane pass rusher, every defense needs a high-octane pass rusher. Undersized yet explosive defines nearly every one of the edge pass rushers in this year's class. The exception would be Florida's Dante Fowler, which is why he's thought to be the best of the bunch. He has that explosiveness off the line, but brings it on a 6'3", 260-pound frame, which means he can set the edge and play the run against the much bigger offensive tackles he'll face in the NFL. Um, but as far as stepping in right now and for them team needs that needs a pass rusher or a defensive end that needs to step in right now and contribute uh, and won't have, you know, too many concerns, I feel like that's me. Fowler has plenty of room to grow and get better since his pass rush moves and his hands are in need of refinement. But the size and speed he brings is exactly what teams are looking for. Missouri's Shane Ray is thought to be the most explosive rusher in the class. He plays with energy and chases the quarterback like a wild dog, which sounds like the perfect edge rusher. The downside, he does it on a 250-pound frame, which means he isn't going to give you much more than effort in the run game. I always play with a chip on my shoulder, and I just kind of play with a, a lot of fire and a lot of passion. Uh, I feel personally, you know, at the end of the day, if I got to play against somebody for 60 minutes, they're going to get the best out of me, uh, regardless of the situation. It's a deep class of rushers this April. Vic Beasley wowed everyone at the Combine with his strength and speed, but he's also light at 245 pounds. Randy Gregory had the positive test and is only 240 pounds, but has rare quickness off the edge and long arms to impact the quarterback. Mix in Bud Dupree from Kentucky and Eli Harold from Virginia, and you have the raw materials to build an elite pass rusher, but they all need some work. Jaguars.com senior writer John Osher joins me now. We're looking at the pass rushers, the edge rushers mm -hmm. as they have become known. Who do you like? Well, it's a fascinating group because it does go so deep. And there's part of you that thinks, boy, you could go into the late first round, second round, um, and still get a guy who can contribute. That's dangerous because you usually have to get those guys to the top. I like Fowler because I've seen him up close. You like the idea of uh, Victor Beasley because he's the guy who, with his speed and athleticism, can create off the edge. At the same time, they all have flaws. If you like Fowler, then you're worried about certain things. If you like Beasley or uh, Randy Gregory, then you're worried about the size issue and what they can do when they get blocked. So there's not a, a can't miss guaranteed hit guy out of this group. There's a lot of guys a lot of people like. You know, knowing that and knowing that Robert Mathis was a fifth round pick and you covered him mm -hmm. in Indianapolis, and Chris Clemens, who's here, right. was undrafted. You know, rather than taking a flyer on one of these guys that's got a flaw, you know, assuming Leonard Williams is gone, wouldn't you rather have a, a wide receiver or an offensive lineman with a, you know, that you know you're going to get something out of and go find those guys, mine those guys later in the draft? Well, I think that is going to be the question that they're asking themselves in the room in the last couple of days. When they're double-checking their list and they're saying, are we sure what we're doing? I think those topics are the key topic points because you look at Amari Cooper, very hard to see him missing. You look at lines, I don't think they're going line in the first round, but wide receiver gets awful tempting. At the same time, history tells you that your odds of getting a really, really good player increase the higher you draft them. They feel like end, meaning pass rusher, offensive tackle, quarterback, or those core spots, hard to see them not going after that if they use that third pick. So I get your question. I still think they go pass rusher. Thanks for the last two months since the combine. Sharing Enjoy. your analysis. Appreciate it. All right. We're not far away now, folks, is the draft comes closer and closer. Thank you for joining us looking at the positions here on Jaguars.com.